So I'm here with the lovely Tracy Vu, aka T Vu, and we're here cooking one of her mum's famous dishes. Tracy, what are we cooking? Oh, so we're cooking a Vietnamese dish called Gan Jua. So it's kind of like a Vietnamese style sweet, sour, hot soup um, and it's with fish. This was actually my first Vietnamese dish I ever cooked and it cured my homesickness when I lived over east for a while. So it's very special to me and very delicious too. Today we're using some beautiful barramundi mm -hmm. and this one's quite interesting, the okra. Okra. You know, so I'm a bit excited about this because this is quite Greek in some aspects. Isn't it? Well, there mm. you go. People are quite unfamiliar with okra, I think, and it looks like a bit of like a cactus, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But it's quite, it's also medicinal, I understand as well. So I really enjoy it and I'm so glad I can use it for this kind of dish as well. I was in Vietnam last year and the food is so fresh and <laughs> vibrant. Yeah, everyone says that as well and it has lots of herbs too. So here as well we've got some Vietnamese mint that um, I grow myself in a little planter box. It's it's almost in between basil and mint. Yeah. But it smells great. <laughs> you know, it, smells, it smells great. So we, we're going to start with the broth. We've got some water here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add 500 mils of water to, yep. to the pot. And then where do we go from there? So we just pop in some tamarind yes. in, in the pot sure. here. Get the stock boiling. So put this onto the stove. Sure. <laughs> and then noodles. So you've got the rice vermicelli. I mean, this is a thin one, but you can get a bit of a thicker one as well. To cut down time, it's always best to put it in boiling water. That's how I would normally do it. So we've already got some pre-boiling yes. water here. We'll, we'll drop that in. And yes. then the fish. So do you leave the skin on? I leave the skin on. I probably just halve it because yep. you want to keep a nice, so solid thickness to it with the fillet. We can throw that in the stock once it's ready to go. All right, awesome. So we've got our broth nice and hot here, and then mm -hmm. we've strained the tamarind out of it. Yes, because it does look a little bit gunky, I mm. suppose. So yeah, make sure you strain all that stuff out, all the pulp, and then it should be a clear, sort of a like a light brown tinge to yeah. the stock. And so, because the tamarind's got seeds in it, so we got rid of those seeds, yes. and now we're just going to add a little bit of... Yes, so a bit of sugar. That was also, a pinch. Was that a was pinch. a bit... <laughs> <laughs> also, I always say to taste. Yes, It's, of course. it's to, to your taste and And I think it. with all cooking, I think it's about a balance. That's right. You know, and, and everyone's taste different. Some fish sauce for the saltiness. Yep. And of course, because tamarind is really tart, so that's, mm. that's the sour. But with the sugar as well, don't overdo it with the sugar because you, don't forget you have the pineapple to go in with as well. And then we're going to start off by yes. adding some okra. Some okra. And then and the celery. It's good teamwork here. Here's the great teamwork. <laughs> Chef's a good one. Yeah. So, fresh tomato. Well, my dad was a chef, so I understand. <laughs> The pineapple looks Perfect. so good. Perfect, I know, it smells delicious. So then we're just going to give that a, a and little simmer? A little, little bit of a simmer so and then, yes. To yes. serve, obviously, we've got a beautiful big deep yes. bowl. We drain <laughs> the noodles. Yeah, we drain the noodles. And we just run a bit of cold water. Yes, make sure they're a bit cold so they don't continue to cook and then they start breaking off because you want to have a little bit of that texture too. Well, there's nothing worse than getting the chopsticks That's in right. there. And, and then, then the, 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 all the noodles are gone <laughs> and what are you going to do with that? <laughs> it no, breaks no, no, apart. So there's nothing wrong with And so the fish will add in the next. Cook, yeah, perfect. So we've been cooking this for about three minutes. You can see everything sort of starting to amalgamate. Pop, pop some noodles in, so yeah. Nice big handful yes, of those lovely. beautiful noodles in there. Lovely. You can pop the fish on top. Look at that. And then some veggies. And then veggies. And then just some stock. And then to finish it off, we pop some chilli. I'll do the chilli. Yeah, you can do the chilli. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the tough You're stuff the to me on here. <laughs> Four or five bits is enough. That's it depends, perfect. Well, it depends on, on yeah. the heat. If you can handle the heat, put more. Obviously, some fried shallots on the top. My little babies here. As I said, the Vietnamese herbs, it gives it that freshness. That's what's part of the Vietnamese cuisine. So it's it's almost a, a, a pho. Oh, oh, almost. F pho is... Pho. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Pho, pho. I don't know. Pho has yeah. a... Um, it's a meat stock. Or so, like, you know, you could do a beef stock for that one or yeah. a chicken stock. So this is a lot fresher, actually. A yeah. lot lighter. You could actually not have the fish at all, like we said, and it could be a vegan-y dish right. as well because it's got rice noodles in there as well. Absolutely. I think you're, you're, you're dancing. And there you have it. TiVo's... <laughs> Gunjoy. Gunjoy. <laughs>